We can use typedef in C when we want a new type that corresponds to an existing type, but when we want to combine existing types to make a bigger type, then we need to use struct. So here I have struct element. Uh, an element value is going to have four values inside of it. It has four fields, name, a symbol, an atomic number, and a mass, where a name is um, fit into ten characters, a symbol is fit into five characters, um, and uh, an atom num atomic number is an integer, whereas the mass I'll represent with a double. Note that name 10 here means I have 10 characters to fill, including a null terminator if I'm thinking of it as a string. So I can only fit names up to 9 long in this particular uh, representation. Here's an example declaration of struct element h. You can see it says struct element. That's the whole, those two words together are the type name when I declare it as struct element. So h is the variable whose type is struct element. That means it has these four fields that I can fill in using a notation analogous to arrays, but this time the fields in order, the field values in order, correspond to the fields here. And you can use a string in C to initialize a character array. Um, again, there's implicitly a null terminator here that's going to appear in name, um, so that's actually two characters filled in of the five of symbol. The other three are left as, as uh, unspecified, or if this is at the top level, then zero. Here I have a function report that takes an argument of type struct element, and uh, it wants to print out the name and the atomic number, and it can do that by using a dot um, after e. So e dot name means get the name field out of the element e, and that field is a character array which corresponds to a character pointer which I'm using as a string, so that will all work. You can combine struct and typedef, so here I have struct element declared as a type, but declared uh, the shorthand ELT for that. So wherever I write ELT, it's as if I wrote struct element, and all of the uh, previous example works out the same. Nothing prevents the namespace of struct from overlapping the namespace of types, so in fact it's common to, uh, to write something like this, typedef struct element has a short name element, and again wherever I write element it's a shorthand for struct. And in fact, due to the way uh, C syntax works, you can combine the struct declaration and the type declaration, type def declaration, into one declaration. It says, here's a struct element type written inline, and then it's a type def to make um, element refer to a shorthand for struct element. So again, um, this uh, all is equivalent to my original example where I had struct element. Uh, one catch is that you can only use struct, use element as a shorthand for element after uh, the type def. So if you have a structured type that needs to refer to itself, like if we have a linked list of elements, uh, then I still have to use the long form struct element there. We'll see more examples of um, a linked list later today.